Hi, it's Tom Bell, Midlife Trucker. I wanted to go over training pay. This is something that I had a lot of questions about before I was going to begin. I had wanted to compare apples to apples. There were companies that were telling me, oh, you're going to get $500 a week during training. And other companies said, you're going to get to split the mileage with the driver of the truck, the trainer in the truck during the time. Millis, you get paid your same pay, 36 cents a mile, the entire time you are in the truck. That every mile the truck is rolling, whether you're driving it or your trainer's driving it, you're getting the same pay. So here's, here's what I made during training. All right, what we're looking at here is my first pay statement. My first pay statement was not a full week. It only had three runs on it. Cartersville, Georgia to Covington, Kentucky. Trenton, Ohio to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin to Cartersville, Georgia. Now let's take a look at that first line. The first line is the trip pay for the Cartersville, Georgia to Covington, Kentucky. We were hauling beer. Uh, 130 empty miles, 421 loaded miles. They pay the same for loaded or empty miles. Total of 551 miles on that trip. Made 143.26 in taxable. And if you look at the top line of the per diem, you'll see it was $55.10. Add the two together, it was $198.36. This entire first week, you can see what the mileage is there, the 189 plus the 1590. And you take the gross earnings of 462.54 plus 177.90 comes to 640.44. Down here in the bottom, you see where the deductions were. The $50 advance means because they gave you a Com Data card that already had $200 on it. They take that back $50 a week for the first four weeks. They did this because a lot of people were hitting the road with their training with their mentor and they had no money in their pocket. Because after all, you've been out of work for about four weeks when you've been going through school. And then the $100 is the school note. Uh, my school only cost $1,000, and I'd already paid $500 of it. Uh, it's $1,000 because I'm a veteran. If you're not a veteran, I believe it's $2,350 or something in that area. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Check with your recruiter. Uh, the $100 will be taken back $100 a week until all $500 of my obligation is met. In an effort not to make this really run long, you can always pause and look at individual runs if you need to. The next pay statements all have the same thing. You saw the same lines that were added up on the first one. Okay, this next week we did five runs. There's five runs. The total gross was 1144.44. Um, the next one after that, I had six runs and it was 1202.40. The next one after that, we actually had seven runs. That was a week we really ran hard because remember, I was trying to get my 15,000 miles done as quickly as possible so I could get my own truck. Um, that week we had seven runs and I got 1664.72. Keep in mind, all miles the truck is moving count for your pay, but not towards your 15,000 and getting your own truck. There were a couple of times my trainer drove for a couple of hours before I would start my day or, to, or at the very end because I already have my CDL license so that he could get us to the point we needed to to be able to be ready to get the next load. Uh, but generally I drove almost all the driving. I would say 95% of the time I, I was behind the wheel. Again, this was because we were trying to get my 15,000 miles as quickly as possible. Okay, the next one, the week ending 1209, only had three runs on it. And that's because that was Thanksgiving week and we went home. So we only had um, a load from White, Georgia to Goshen, Indiana, a load from Trenton, Ohio to Fairburn, Georgia, a load from Cartersville to Norcross. The Cartersville to Norcross was a 47 mile city load. Uh, my trainer actually got paid a bonus for taking a city load. I did not because you get no bonuses while you were in training. And then the last week was a just all out effort to try to get uh, my 15,000 miles closed. And we did uh, seven runs. And the last one, as you see, ended in Eden, North Carolina. That is where I picked up my truck and began on my own. All right, here's a quick wrap up. During the six weeks of training, I had a total of $6,464. That comes to an average of $1,077.43. Keep in mind that the first week was a short week, only three or four days. And we had the week of Thanksgiving, which we took off the entire week. The week work week works goes from Tuesday at 12.01 a.m. to Monday at midnight. That's an important thing to keep in mind depending on the days that you start and the day that you're driving.
But I hope this has been an informative video and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you'll come back for more content, I'm trying to give you as much information as I can so that you can make an informed decision on choosing what company you want to go to work for and what to expect. Remember, your mileage may vary. Your driver may be, your trainer may be a hard charger who really wants to get it done, or it may be somebody who wants to take it slow and easy and make sure that uh, you're learning at your pace. Everything is different based on every driver situation you get into.